Hey, hi friends, welcome to my channel, Engineer Abhishek Roshan. And in this session, I am mainly going to discuss about the Linux interview questions and answer in detail, guys. So these are the Linux interview questions and answers I have collected during my interview, which I have given to the different companies in my past. So when I started my career as a Linux system administrator, and then I moved on to a VMware administrator guys later on I have moved on to cloud administrator and later on I have uh, worked as a DevOps engineer and currently I am working as a lead DevOps engineer guys. So uh, from past I can say uh, I think uh, six to seven years I am working as a lead DevOps engineer guys. So let me tell you one thing uh, these hundred plus Linux interview questions are not a theoretical questions. These questions are totally based on scenario based questions and these are the real time question guys uh, which I have faced during my interviews uh, in different companies so I cannot reveal those companies uh, as per the policy but let me tell you whether you are a fresher whether you are an experienced or whether you are a Linux administrator, VMware administrator, guys, cloud administrator, software tester, developer, or I can say a DevOps engineer. Everybody needs Linux. Why Linux is important? Because you know your application where you are going to host. So you are going to host your application on top of Linux server only. So you Linux is nothing but it's it's your foundation, guys. So you should be uh, well aware of Linux, you should be very good at Linux. So knowing each and everything, thing, things will be very easy for you. Not for a fresher, I can say who is trying to get into IT industry, but a person who is already in an industry and trying to boost his career. So, okay guys, so let's start the session. But before starting the session guys, I'll request you those who are new to this channel please don't forget to like share and subscribe guys so guys what i have decided is i have split it up these 100 plus interview questions into multiple ppds so you will be able to understand each and every question and you will be able to write it down these questions also guys at the same time i am explaining every question in detail and answers for those questions also okay guys so let's start with the first question uh this is uh not i can say in all the organization you are going to uh get this question as an interview but in as a early as a fresher or i can say when you are a three years of experience or a four years of experience you are going to get this kind of a question in most of the interview guys so question is nothing but it's like how to set a username and a password to never expire so the answer is pretty simple ch is the command ch is the command to use uh, to change any any if you want to do any modification related to user expiration uh, for its password and all you can use the ch command so ch hyphen capital m and then minus one is setting for never expire guys and then you can use any username whether it's a krishna it's a bob or oliver or uh, Paul, anybody, it could be guys, it could be Abhishek, anyone. Okay, so moving on to the next question, guys. The next question is very much important. Why I am telling this question is very much important because this question have been asked to me in most of the interview during my early career. Okay, so the question is pretty simple that why slash etc pass wd and slash etc shadow files cannot be merged into one file. So, you all of you are aware that slash etc pass wd and slash etc shadow file is nothing but this is related to related to your user information guys right user information is very critical for a system uh, where you need to store this user information in some of the files so if you merge these two files into a single file what could be happen so the the if suppose the existence of these two files is a consequence that slash etc pass wd is a text file that can be read by any other application it could be any application so it could be slash uh, it could be a finger application sssd application or any application which you are installing so it can be easily read by that particular application so an attacker could gain access to the information of the file that included the hashed password if we put both the information into a single file guys please remember we cannot put the username 
and the password into a same file we need to separate these two things both are two different things guys to make sure that it cannot be attacked by a hacker or a uh, or, or a attacker uh, uh, for uh, to gain access of your system second thing is to increase security the hashed password that is used to be in the file was moved to other file called slash etc shadow file and that is accessible only by the root user who is root user guys so root user is nothing but it's a super administrator super user so everybody cannot be a root user right uh, if you normally you see when you a uh, user is created those users are normal users so those users ha doesn't have the full permissions a root user only has the full permission for that uh, for that en entire linux system guys so if you want to learn more about in detail uh what is a root user what is a system user what is a normal user you can check check out my course guys so there i have already explained in detail about all types of users so these are the two reasons this is why we cannot keep slash etc pass wd and slash etc shadow file in the same file same text file okay so moving on to the next question guys the question is like to list all the files or you can say to list all the open files by its particular pid pid is nothing here but this is called process id guys so if you want to list all those process then uh, and with the files which is open right so how you are going to do that so simple the command is ls of command is there list of open files ls of is nothing but list of open files hyphen p means uh, that option you need to check with the man command and pid is nothing but that is the process id of all the process guys okay so count the number of files and the processes by using this command you can do it okay guys so moving on to the next question so the next question is uh, we are unable to unmount the file system so what are the reasons behind it this is pretty simple uh, if you are working as a devops engineer also so you are going to face this problem all the time guys when you are trying to mount some of the directory or uh, some of the part or uh, for a file system you are going to get this error so and even though this has been asked in most of the interviews also so the reason behind is pretty simple guys so either you are in the same directory so you just need to do a pwd just try to get out of that directory and then try to mount that particular directory into that particular file system slash suppose if you are mounting uh, slash uh, data into uh, any any file system guys then you are going to get this error so and the second reason is also some of the users are present in the same directory and using its content so what you need to do f user is the command hyphen c and hyphen u is the command and you need to give that partition name slash dev slash sda okay so then you will be able to come suppose so if suppose it it's showing number of users so you need to say kill those users or you before doing anything just check who all uh, are using the content or who are using some of its file or a directory within that particular uh, disk guys or slash dev slash sd or any disk partition i can say okay and the third and the most important reason some of the files are open in that directory so what you need to do just before that this question only i told you if you want to list all the open files just do a ls of and give that partition name guys slash dev slash sda1 sda2 sda3 you know partitions if you want to learn more about partitions so you can check out my uh, managing partitions and file system uh, topic guys okay moving on to the next question guys that uh, what could be the reason if a server take more time after reboot this is the most important for a linux administrator every time it's going to ask you if you are working as a linux administrator guys so uh, and this has been asked uh, i think in uh, i have given more than 100 plus interviews you can understand right guys so interviews these are 100 plus interview questions plus company wise also i have experience i have uh, given so many interviews every time this question is on target okay so they were asking file system what could be the reason 
so always i tried then later on i realized that this is something related to your file system guys so if your file system got corrupt so that could so you suppose your ext2 right it could be anything it could be ext3 ext4 or it could be xfs zfs any any file system also guys so and and earlier uh, so i have answer according to that that earlier ext2 doesn't have any general link feature means suppose anything uh, go, went wrong with the file system so you cannot take a backup of that one but recently file system has that features but in case your file system got corrupt so most of the chances that you will be able to recover but in early days uh like i i can say red hat 5 or red hat 4 it doesn't have those features later on those features have been added in the uh, uh, uh latest version of your uh, red hat guys okay so this was the reason <clears throat> okay moving on to the next question okay uh, guys moving on to the next question this is the most important question why i am telling this is the most important it has been asked to me i think in almost all the companies i am telling you and mark my word guys 100% this question is going to ask to you uh, if you are a 4 year 5 years of experience it is not going to ask for i can say for a fresher but who is having almost 4 or 5 or 6 years of experience 100% this question will they are going to ask you what is that question is we are trying to create the file under any partition but we are getting permission denied alert what could be the reason however no space issue no permission issue so don't don't uh, hit your head on the wall okay the answer is pretty simple guys okay so you will think that we are trying to create a file under a suppose slash dev slash sda1 is there okay and you are trying to create a file in any any directory but we are getting permission denied alert you will think it's related to user no it's not related to user you will think uh, it is something related to space issue no it's not related to space issue so what could be the reason they will tell you the interviewer will tell you there is no space issue there is no permission issue it's not related to your file permission it's not related to your disk so it's related to your i node if you want to learn more about i node please go and check my so the answer is pretty simple guys it's related to your i node so you are running out of i node so if you want to learn more about i node please go and check my video guys so even i can put the video in the description in the url so you can click in that particular url and uh, uh, you can uh, go through it what exactly i know this okay moving on to its answer is pretty simple running out of i node so how i node is impacted so see what you need to do is if you do a df command right this command so that reports is enough free spaces but system claims but the system claim is file system is full so what you need to do is you need to check the i node so how you are going to check the i node of a file system so answer is like df hyphen h command you used to check the space of file system same way you need to use the df hyphen i command to check the i node guys okay suppose any 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 directory i can say you can take it where you are getting this uh, slash data is also a directory Uh, uh slash uh, where is a directory where you are getting this issue so what you need to do is just do a df hyphen i and just give the slash that particular directory name okay so i'll show you uh, a sample output okay just see here so if you can see over here uh, a sample out uh, i have executed it so you can see the file system is there slash dev slash sda8 is there so you can see the number of i nodes and how many is used and how much is free okay and for which directory it is so slash etc suppose ftp user has this much total number of i node but only 11,568 uh, are used so you are free to create another 62 lakh 38928 files on that slash ftp partitions correct so if 100% of your i node are used then try the following option so what you need to do is find the unwanted files and delete or move to another server 
फाइंड द अनवांटेड लार्ज फाइल एंड डिलीट और मूव टू अनदर सर्वर दिस इज द सोल्यूशन फॉर दिस ओके सो दिस इज हाउ यू कैन ट्रेवल टू दिस इश्यू ओके मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन गाइज सो सी वाई सो सम ऑफ यू विल आर थिंकिंग दैट आई एम रैंडमली टेकिंग दिस क्वेश्चन ओके सो सम ऑफ द क्वेश्चन आर फ्रॉम यूजर मैनेजमेंट सम ऑफ द क्वेश्चन आर फ्रॉम डिस्क पार्टीशन सम ऑफ द क्वेश्चन आर कमिंग फ्रॉम नेटवर्क ट्रबल शूटिंग एंड ऑल सो या दिस इज हाउ बिकॉज दिस इज हाउ आई हैव गिवन इंटरव्यू अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट आई हैव कलेक्टेड दो इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन and same way i am presenting okay so you guys have to understand this is this belongs to which topic and mostly what i can do is whatever the questions uh, i am explaining over here is i'll try to put a link for that particular topic so if you want to learn more about that particular topic so you can go and you can click on that link and you can watch that video guys okay okay so the question is how to check the kernel routing table information kernel you everybody knows it's pretty very much important for a linux operating system so there are three commands even you can tell one command that is fine but if you there are three commands that are there to check a right a routing table information route hyphen n command is a net hyphen net stat hyphen rn command is there ip route also it's a command by these three commands you can get a routing table information guys okay moving on to the next question and this is related to your related to your sticky bit you know set uid set gid so if you want to learn more about this particular question or uh, in depth you can click on my video so you will uh, learn about this thing okay so the question is how to set a sticky bit and what is the difference between small s and the capital s most common questions okay so the answer is pretty simple sticky bit is a special permission you also know okay that is applied on a file or a directory and then only root and owner of that file or a directory can delete it sticky bit when you apply only the owner can delete that file or a directory even others have full permission they cannot delete that directory or the file correct so you know there are three types of permission one is your owners permission group permissions and other permission guys okay so uh, and how it's going to set it up you can see clearly i have mentioned the symbolic way if you want to do a if you want to change uh, uh, modification of a file so chmod is the command slash so this is one of a way there are two ways to change the uh, file permission numerical way and uh, there is this representation also you can uh, do this guys okay symbolic way so there are two ways to change the file permission either you can do it by symbolic way or you can do it by numerical way so the first option i have shown with the symbolic way that is chmod o plus t and your uh, particular directory where you want to change that uh, uh, permission uh, with the sticky bit okay and chmod plus t and then you can a numerical way is what chmod 1757 so one is the sticky bit whether it's representing over here so slash opt slash dump okay to make it set uid executable you have to say chmod 4700 executable so small s is nothing but this is for set uid and executable capital s is nothing but set uid and non executable guys so this is the answer for this one okay so guys i am ending up the session here only so i don't want to drag this session any more and make it more lengthy for you so in the next video i'll be explaining another 10 interview questions so till then just stay tuned to this channel and just take care of your loved ones don't forget to like share and subscribe the channel till then jai hind